if you can discuss the common faults that we see in the breed. Uh, I think today what we see often is the overall uh, picture. When, when you see the Braco, that many miss a little bit about the typical outline. Uh, I think we see often heads which are a bit too wide in the skulls, um, round eyes or eyes which are not. We, we do see dogs which have entropion. Um, we see dogs with a little bit of hanging eyes which is not um, correct. Um, we see dogs which lack the divergence in the head. Um, I also would say that um, missing the, the typical top line, missing the croups, tail sets too high, which is quite common wherever we see Bracos, including Italy, that many dogs tend to have the tail a little bit too high set and keeping the tail on the move too high, um, which destroy a little bit the, the typical outline and picture of the dog. I also think that when it comes to the movement, uh, we have to really uh, think about when we are judging the dogs, but also as, as breeders, we have to think about the movement, that we don't lose this special, open, elastic um, side gait, which must be also, uh, it's a dog that has to move harmonic. Um, this is one of the most important breed points, so that is uh, important. I think we see very often Bracos where people from other breeds think, oh, this is a beautiful moving dog, but it's actually a dog just trotting normally. And that is not enough, it's not enough. A Bracco which don't have side gait, um, or given the chance to show the side gate, um, it's, it's, it's a pity because that is such an important thing for the breed. Uh, coming going, we see many dogs which are very unstable, open in the elbows, um, lacking for chest, so they move very loose in the front. We also see dogs which are unstable in the hocks when they go away and many which are a bit cow hocked when they go away. What improvements should breeders be making? I think that that we have as breeders we have to think about first of all the breed type to keep the breed type and the style of the Bracco. I think it's important that New breeders um, go, come to Italy, <laughs> come to Italy, talk to all breeders, go back. Now, finally, we have a chance. There is a fantastic website um, where you can find pictures uh, of old Bracos. You can go back in the history. I think you can learn a lot from that. Uh, Talk to all breeders. Go to specialty shows. Uh, if you can, come to Italy, to the big Raduni, and see big number of the breed. Um, also, big specialties, wherever, to see a bigger number of dogs. Go to field trials. See the dog working and learn uh, how they should work. From this, then, I think we should try to breed dogs which are not too extreme um, in any direction. I think it's important to uh, think about the health because we have a breed which do have not, not few problems. It's a breed that have several problems and if we don't care about the health, that can really ruin the breed. So I think uh, with the possibility 
to work together because that is important between breeders um, to work together try to be open and to do perhaps the test I, I think that we don't need to test about everything but I think the things we know could be coming in, in the bloodlines we have uh, try to learn about your own bloodlines uh, if I know dogs have kidney problems or hip problems or skin problems don't double up try to do a bit more serious research before you even plan to breed your dog um, do health testing hopefully before you breed your dog um, I think that is um, a good start then I think also um, it's important to learn about the correct breed type uh, it's not only just to to produce puppies um, that kind of look bracco but it is important to know the special uh, breed points and to know the standard and the history of the breed before even starting to plan a litter and then one last question how are breeders succeeding and doing well with the breed today? I think today that what what we miss, things have changed a little bit. Uh, also in Italy, uh, before we had these bigger kennels, we had breeders which kept a family type, a breed type, and we knew that this breeder have dogs with wonderful heads. We had another breeder with dogs with wonderful movement. And if you would need something, you could go out and, and uh, use it, or you needed to improve something, you could go to a certain kennel. Today, the pedigrees start to be more mixed up. Um, for good and bad, because it's, all, it's good, for the gene pool to widen the gene pool but it's also a risk with it because um, when we mix too much when it becomes too mixed um, people are breeding uh, different types you, you mix a lot you have more difficult to know what the result will be and this is for one part, it's more difficult to know how they will look, but it's also difficult to know if you have health problems um, or if you want to improve certain things uh, because you never know what will come up. Um, I think breeders, there are good good breeders all over, all over the, I wouldn't say the world, but actually, there are good breeders here and there, which are doing a great job. Um, I think uh, important is, again, breed standard. Try to keep, keep um, contact with each other. And I think that in this, it is improving. I think people are uh, more aware of health problems. Uh, people are testing more um, sometimes I feel that people perhaps are testing the wrong things but um, I think knowledge the more knowledge you can have the better and I think there are some breeders doing a really good job um, in Italy unfortunately we are losing some of, of the old breeders and um, it's many dogs are bred um, not by breeders, by private people who just have a litter here and there. And it's quite difficult to get knowledge about uh, the dogs behind. Also, a big problem has been that the, when you look at the pedigree of Bracos, you can have three dogs which are named Poldo and Umbria. And it has not been very easy to go back in the pedigrees and understand and find pictures and so on. Um, so that is 
one thing which made made it a little bit more difficult with the bracco breeding um, what I would just wish is that people when because today people are sending semen it's making more easy to do combinations and people are doing artificial inseminations uh, sending semen to Australia and to America and and so on what I see is that people look at dogs on internet on Facebook and they see a beautiful dog and they want to use but I recommend everybody try to go and see the dogs go and meet the breeders go and see the parents grandparents and that gives so much more because a photo on Facebook is just a photo it, it doesn't say you need to see if you're going to breed a dog you need to see the dog you need to see um, the dogs around another thing which I think is important when we talk about health of not only Bracos but but all breeds is that we talk about longevity that try to use dogs also that are a little bit older and and go back and see if dogs behind in the pedigree how old they've been because I think also that shows um, it's it's good to use bloodlines where the dogs behind become old and keep pretty good. Um, when we get problems that dogs have to be put to sleep when they are three, four, five years, that is not what we want to go on with. So I think it's um, that is important. Be critical to what you get in your litters. Everything is not, even if they win in dog shows uh, or field trials or whatever, but be critical on your your puppies, on your own dogs. That I think is the one of the most important things when you breed dogs, any, any kind of breed, not only Bracos. Be critical and um, don't don't just think they are beautiful because they they do good at some dog shows. You you have to be the final judge and you have to be harder than any other judge on your own um, dogs.